Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, The Truth About God. My name is Erica Brown, and if you're new to my channel, what's up? I'm happy to have you. If you've been here well a while, welcome back. Um, if it's your first time and you're just seeing my face for the first time, this is my channel, The Truth About God. I talk about the truths of God's character and his heart for you and how he loves you, okay? And um, before I get any further into this message, let me pray for you, let me pray for us. Let's go. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just want to say thank you for inhabiting this moment and being here. And I'm praying that in expectancy. I'm praying it because I asked you for it already. And I believe that you've given it to me, Lord Jesus. You've given it to us. So Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for that, providing that need. Thank you, Father God, for providing our peace, our nourishment, our sustenance, not only food, Father God, our finances, Lord Jesus, but the peace and the sustenance that we need in our minds, the sustenance that our spirit needs, the, the sustenance that our soul needs lord jesus thank you for providing for us in abundance lord jesus and thank you for doing exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ask or think in the mighty name of jesus father god in the mighty name of jesus inhabit this moment and thank you for already doing so but also lord minister into us speak to us lord jesus let this word rest rule and abide in us lord jesus let us carry it around with us all day and into forevermore into perpetuity lord jesus inhabit this moment it's in, into perpetuity lord jesus so that anyone who encounters this word from today would be blessed and filled with your spirit and it would speak to them exactly where they are it would speak to them mind body spirit and soul in the mighty name of jesus heal us watch over us deliver us provide for us save us sanctify us with your glory lord jesus cover us with your blood and fill us with your word and fill us with your spirit and your peace lord jesus let peace be still in our heart mind body spirit and soul lord jesus and please comfort us on every side in the mighty name of jesus and holy spirit speak through me be here thank you lord i can't do this alone i need your help um it is in your precious son jesus name i pray and ask it all father god amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us thank you lord and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forevermore in the mighty name of jesus i pray and ask it all father god amen now y'all on this channel like i said if you new here i pray that's my gift that's part of the gifts that god has given me an accessory prayer so i'm praying throughout the whole message i'm praying throughout the whole time that i'm speaking because that's how the holy spirit leads me to do it so that's why i do it if you've ever had that question that's answered and um let's get into this message when i asked god what he wanted me to talk about today he said peace and i was didn't want to do it because i'm like jesus i'm always making videos about peace and then the holy spirit was like but everybody needs peace everybody is always dealing with something that is distorting their peace it, it, it's just constant throughout the day and so when the lord gave me the scripture reference i was like oh jesus always working all things together for your glory and our good now bear with me i'm on my phone so if it's a little wonky just bear with me because i'm filming this on my phone okay now Scripture references Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I hear the Lord telling me to pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for this promise. Thank you for this promise. Lord Jesus, I pray that we hold on to it today, that we take it and accept it as ours lord jesus that it is factual it is true it is unchanging it is exactly what we need and we can take it to the bank and my god will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in christ jesus thank you father god for supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory in christ jesus and you lack no good thing so we will lack no good thing thank you jesus that everything that we've been worried about Thank you, Father God, for trading the, the trouble in, the worry in, the anxiousness in, the frustration in. Thank you for trading that and giving us your peace. Thank you, Lord. And supplying our needs, doing both. Thank you, Lord, for doing everything and doing exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ask or think. Thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is in your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray and ask it all. Father God, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven thank you lord give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us thank you lord thank you lord and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forevermore in the mighty name of jesus i pray and ask it all father god amen now what makes me so excited about this word that the Lord has given me and how it pertains to peace is that you are worried about something. You have something that you need today and you have something that it has been. Lord, I think I, I hear the Lord telling me to pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let this word inhabit the hearts and minds and souls of your children and help them to believe you. Help them to trust you, Lord Jesus. Help them to believe that this is actually true because it is actually true. Bless them to know today and show them, Lord. Give them just a glimpse of it, Lord Jesus, if they haven't seen you move or don't know what that looks like, if they haven't seen you move in a long time, the way that they've hoped for, the way they've expected for you to do it, Lord Jesus, and they have a little bitterness or disdain or embarrassment or frustration towards you, Lord Jesus, because they you haven't moved the way that they wanted you to bless us to remember that you're for my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways says the lord so bless us to remember that that's a good thing because sometimes it doesn't feel like that so today lord jesus i'm asking that you will show them your glory and your love and your presence and how you will supply their needs today lord jesus tangibly if they need food clothing shelter a place to stay, rent money, gas money, provide that, but also their their mental needs and their emotional needs because a lot of us are having mental health crises, Lord Jesus, and we're dealing with grief and loss and suffering and rejection and wanting to be accepted and approved of, Lord Jesus, and we're just not having any hope and we don't see how you could supply that need as well, Lord Jesus, the need for friendship, the need for love, the need for acceptance, the need for approval, that all those things come from you and you will provide those things for us. Today, I pray that we will receive them from you wholeheartedly, fully, and totally, and that we'd expect it. We have hope for it, and that we'd expect it from you, Lord Jesus. Um, it is in your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you, Lord. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Y'all, God is good. I'm just moving around trying to get comfortable so my legs don't go to sleep. But um, whatever you're worried about, Um, whatever you're anxious about, whatever you're concerned about today, whatever is causing you to be not at ease, not at peace, right? This ease, whatever is causing that, let the scripture roll over you. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And I want to read verse 20 to you too. Philippians chapter 4 verse 20. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Father God in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us to start to praise you for who you are and what you've done. And that we can actually come to you and receive our needs in abundance. Lord Jesus, I want to say thank you for that. I want to say thank you for intercession. I want to say thank you for prayer. And I want to say thank you for who you are. And I want to say thank you for what you're doing in this moment. The things that we're going to see, the things, the way that you're going to move in us, with us, through us, and for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us the courage to be ourselves, Lord Jesus, and hope for you, hope in you, and trust you, and believe you, Lord Jesus. Just thank you for who you are and what you've done and what you are about to do, what's already in motion and in progress for us. Thank you, Jesus. That peace be still in our heart, mind, body, spirit, and soul. And please comfort us on every side. It is in your precious son, Jesus name, I pray and ask it all. Father God, amen. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you, Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you, Lord. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Thank you, Lord, forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Y'all, whatever you need today, whatever it is you need, do you need hope today? Do you need peace? Do you need contentment? Do you need some money? Do you need, maybe you think you need money, but maybe you just need some groceries. Maybe you need some gas in your car. Maybe you need your roof fixed, right? Maybe you need a new shirt, some new clothes, some new shoes because you've gotten smaller or you've gotten bigger and you just need, or maybe you need a new hairstyle, all right? Maybe you need some new glasses. Maybe you need a new prescription in your glasses, right? Maybe you need some new sheets. I just want to make it so tangible for you so you'll understand the type of needs that God meets and the type of needs needs God meets are any of them, anything you need. You need better mental health, right? You need some friends. You want to go out to lunch with, you want to need some lunch money, you know, uh, you need a ride to school. You need to ride back home from school. You need a way to get to church. You need a church, you know, or you need a new church. You know what I'm saying? Um, you need help to stop wanting to fit in with everybody who keeps who's who's rejecting you. You need to stop looking for acceptance from people who can't give it to you anyway, who have their own issues and traumas and dramas that they're trying to overcome. Or do you have issues and traumas and dramas that you need help to overcome? That you need healing, you need deliverance from grief. Like I'm just laying out needs, right? Things that are upsetting your peace. Things that are disrupting you at this very moment. Do you need to know how to love your kids? Do you need to know how to love your husband? Do you need to know how to love your wife? Are you having an argument with somebody and you need resolution? Come through, Holy Spirit. You need that. You need healing in your relationships. You need healing in your body, healing in your limbs, healing in your soul, healing in your mouth. You don't know how to talk to people. You need healing in your mouth. You need new new sight. You keep looking at the wrong things. You need God to give you new vision. Or you don't have vision and you need that. And that's giving you, you know, upsetting your peace. These are the things that we need that disturb our peace, right? And God is saying, because he, this is the, these are needs. Needs are not only just, you, you know what I'm saying? I want you to have a, a, just think about the things that you need throughout the course of the day. Are you stressed out? You know, you need to de-stress. You need some time to yourself. These are needs, right? You need help. You need you need a root canal. You need a trip to the dentist. You need a trip to the to the doctor's office. You're, you're worried because you don't have insurance. You need that, and it's upsetting your peace, right? I hear the Lord telling me to pray for you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your will. This is your word, and I want to say thank you, Jesus, that you are an all encompassing God. You are not like people. Well, only people we go to people to meet certain needs and have certain needs met from certain people. Lord Jesus, your scripture says, and my God will supply every need of yours, every need of yours, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I want to say thank you for your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I want to say thank you for supplying every need of ours, every need of ours, every single one, because we have so many every day. And Lord, you just, the, your spirit just reminded me how much more you love us than the birds and you take care of the birds every single day every need is met every need is met and they look to you for it and they expect it from you they don't wake up worried about where's the next worm gonna come from where's the next drink of water where's the next nest they expect it bless us to be like them in that to just automatically wake up and expect our needs to be met by you in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise because it is yours. You are worthy of it. It belongs to you. It is yours anyway. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God. Amen. Y'all, and my God will supply, and my God, okay? This is Paul writing to the Philippians, letting them know, 
and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. It's, it's done. So let that give you peace today. And whenever the thought of what you need creeps back into your mind, recite the scripture. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And don't forget verse 20, Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Don't forget, to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. And with that, let me pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to say thank you for your goodness and thank you for who you are. And thank you for supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And thank you for paying attention to us. And thank you, Jesus, for seeing what's disrupting our peace. And thank you, Jesus, for sending a word to let us know that you'll supply it. Thank you, Father God, for being our God. And thank you for supplying every need of ours according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and, forever and ever. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all. And thank you, Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you, Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you, Lord. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Y'all, I pray this message blessed you, helped you, and encouraged you. Um, And if it did, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. And have a wonderful weekend, okay? Um, Yeah, I was just checking with the Holy Spirit to see if he wanted me to pray for you again. But, um, yeah, I'm good. (laughs) Uh, See you guys next time. Bye.